Yo, what's up? Lee here from Mixed Martial Help. This is my reaction to um, the announcement about Ronda Rousey fighting Holly Holm coming up in the new year, January the 2nd. Everybody thought that Misha Tate was going to get a third crack at Ronda, but it looks like she's going to have to wait, even though she's been putting on good performances with her other fights, things like three, four wins in a row now. Um, people think that Holly Holm doesn't deserve a shot. But listen, she's a world-class fighter too. In my opinion, she needs a bit more time to get used to fighting in the UFC. I mean, she's a top class kickboxer. She's an amazing boxer. She's a really, really good boxer. And she just needs to be able to put that together in the mixed martial arts environment. You see, it's really specific. You know, you could take somebody that's top, top world class boxer, top world class kickboxer. We've seen it. Someone who's a great jiu jitsu player now, you know, being one dimensional doesn't cut it. You've got to be able to do it all. Now, Ronda gets a lot of stick for her boxing and her striking because it's good, it's great. But if you compare it to someone who's just boxing, if you compare it to someone who's just kickboxing, she's not that good. She really isn't. However, you put it all together, now that's the key. Nobody's doing it as well as she is. That's why she's top dog. That's why she's number one. That's why no one can touch her. You know, she's an incredible judo player. She really is. But... She's able to put the whole game together. Take Holly Holm, for example. Like I say, amazing fighter. Really good. Really respect her. Top athlete. But she probably needs more time in the UFC now. And that's just to get used to fighting under those rules. To get used to the environment. Because it does make a difference. It does. There's a lot of pressure on her as well. Being this great boxer to come in and, and to be able to put away some of the other mixed martial arts. But you can see from her last couple performances that she doesn't always do as well as you might expect. But... You know, I really respect her. I really think that it's, it's going to be a good striker. If anyone's going to put Ronda away, it's going to be a good striker. But I don't know if there's anybody out there that can do it right now. I would love personally to see the, the trilogy, Misha Tate versus Ronda Rousey. The first time she got dominated. The second time she got battered. It just took a bit longer. But who knows? Maybe that's given her enough fire enough fire to train and come back be a better opponent for her um there's some people saying that there shouldn't be a trilogy between misha tate and ronda mm, i disagree with you guys in the fight game it's a small small world even when it's amateur through to semi and then professional it's a small world you know you can run through all the opponents in no time i, I think you should have an opportunity to fight more than once it can be exciting, but that comes back to the whole show being sold. Fights are only going to happen when they're making a lot of money. Perhaps they're just delaying for a while. Let me know your thoughts below, guys. Post your comments. You know, we'll have a little chat. Why do you think they picked Holly Holm over, over uh, Misha Tate to fight Ronda? What do you think the result's going to be? Quick prediction from me. I think Ronda's got the skills to put her away in the first round. But Holly, if she's been working, she can make it, la maybe make it last a bit longer. Maybe it's going to go into the second. But my prediction... Ronda Rousey by submission, first round. Put your thoughts below. Peace.